Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically Josh Allen's NFL Analytics Production Profile. Uh, again, all terms and definitions will be in the description, by the way, so if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with what high school production uh, score is, or you're not familiar with what an FBS production score is, all that information will be in the description to kind of let you know. And I'll do my best to kind of give a brief explanation of things as I go along. Uh, but the bottom line is, in this video, we're going to look at Josh Allen based on his statistics from college and high school to give us somewhat of an idea of what his potential could be based on the data over the last, well, since 1958 when it comes to FBS data and also since 2007 when it comes to um, high school data. Um, so first off, when you look at Josh Allen's FBS production scores and high school production score, um, he had a 55.40 high school production score, uh, which unfortunately doesn't meet the minimum threshold for long-term starting quarterbacks at the NFL level since the 2007 NFL draft class, nor does he hit the Pro Bowl quarterback threshold of 84 or higher when it comes to high school production, uh, which is guys like Cam Newton, that's guys like Russell Wilson, uh, Andrew Luck, uh, Drew Brees, those types of guys, Matt Ryan, um, all those guys, all those quarterbacks hit pr pretty much that 84 or higher area when it comes to um, their high school production, whereas Josh Allen only has a 55.40 out of 100. On top of that, um, Josh Allen's FBS stat score, which is, which is his best single season performance, which wasn't in 2017, but was in 2016, his best year was a 26 out of 100. Based on my data, since the 1958 NFL draft class, uh, 26 out of 100, it basically meets the long-term starting threshold, uh, but does not hit the Pro Bowl quarterback threshold. And not only that, what really scares you about Josh Allen is just the averages in terms of his career. So this is average FBS score data, and essentially what you do with this is you take uh, all the performances of a quarterback in their college career, and you add them all together, and then you divide it by whatever how many years they played so if they had three seasons of production you you would divide you would add up all those production scores and then you would divide it by three so on and so forth when it comes to josh allen um, his average career fbs score was a 20.11 out of 100 um, as you can clearly see the 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 bottom end threshold meaning that the minimum bottom end threshold for all pro potential player uh, is 77.32 out of 100 um, 64.60 for a Pro Bowl player and 17.26 out of 100 in terms of a starting player. So when it comes to Josh Allen, he really fits the bill as a fringe starting quarterback at the NFL level. Uh, and not only that, when you look at the averages at the position, so when you look at the average All-Pro score in terms of the career score and the average Pro Bowl score and average starter score, Josh Allen is just woefully below average in all these areas, proving the point again that he, he would have to become an outlier in order to become a successful NFL quarterback based on the data at this point. Nor would he even really have a chance of sniffing all pro potential or pro bowl potential based on his overall data. Uh, the bottom line is when it comes to Josh Allen though, is this is a guy that I really don't, I really don't know what else I have to say. I've done videos in the past on Josh Allen basically explaining the risks involved. Uh, I've done, <laughs> I've done a couple, maybe not film reviews per se, but I have worked on a couple and just stopped midway because I don't, why do I have to do this? Like, it's so obvious on film the issues that he has in terms of touch, the issues he has in terms of decision making, and all those other areas that I think you have to understand something that Josh Allen is a project quarterback. Um, this is not a guy that you draft top 10. This is not a guy that you draft in the first round, nor do you even draft this guy day two. This is a guy that you take day three and you develop them and you see what you have, but you have to keep in mind that there's a very high unlike, there's a very high likelihood that this guy will not become a long-term starting quarterback. And the thing is, when you draft a quarterback in the top 10, when you draft a quarterback that high, you're drafting a quarterback with the expectation that they're gonna become an all-pro quarterback, or they're gonna become a Pro Bowl quarterback. And when every single quarterback prospect since the 1958 NFL draft class hits a certain number in terms of their, their career FBS data and Josh Allen doesn't hit that threshold, meaning that there has never been a quarterback to become a multiple all-pro type or multiple pro bowl type who hit the numbers that Josh Allen made, you have to be very scared at that point. 
And there's no other way around it. So, again, as much as Josh Allen has his fans and has people that really love him and like the gifts and all, the, all those other things about him, this is a guy that is historically bad on paper. Like, historically, since 1958. I wasn't born in 1958. <laughs> I doubt there's many people. Comment below if you actually were born in 1958. That's how long ago it's been in terms of the sample, in terms of the FBS stat score. So, again, don't believe the hype. This guy is a project. This is a guy that is going to take some time to develop. And he is not worth your time in terms of a day one pick, let alone a day two pick. Uh, and, of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.